Hello guys, I'm back with another video on PySpark. In this video, we will learn about how to write partitions of packet files in PySpark. Do like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribing to the channel. Let's go into the actual code now. So I have a Python file here uh, named as writing to packet and in this I have initialized a Spark session and uh, using the Spark session I have read a CSV file from my local system using the Spark uh, read CSV API and this is the preview of the data from my CSV file. So I have around six records in this and uh, holding the four columns as ID, name, address and age and I want to write this data into an uh, partitioned way of packet files. So I'm going to use the partition column as an address here and if you see the continuity of the address uh, I have uh, Delhi, Delhi has been repeated, Mumbai, Mumbai has been repeated and uh, Gujarat and Kerala has been not repeated. So the data for this uh, data frame, the first record and the third record goes into a one partition and uh, fifth and sixth records goes into another partition and second record and the fourth record would be going into it each separate partitions so let's see how to create the uh, partitions using the spark code so i'm going to uh, use the employee df dot write method write and using the mode so i'm going to pass uh, here overwrite mode and I'm going to tell the spark that what has to be my uh, partition column and here I'm going to uh, mention as my address column so address has been passed here and I want to uh, you know tell the spark that what is the uh, format of uh, data I want to store so I'm, I want to store data as a packet and I would be providing the uh, directed location where the data has to be stored so we yeah, we need to just use uh, df dot write dot mode of overwrite or append as per your requirement and partition by here i'm using the address so depending upon your requirement you can uh, choose the correct partition key and uh, assign it into this uh, particular place and uh, you can change the custom location where you want to uh, write the data so if you want to write into an s3 you can place your s3 and if you want to write into an hdfs you can place your hdfs location or if you are want to your uh, write to your local system you can write your uh, particular folder or the uh, path so i'm going to run this code now and uh, let's see how the partitions will be created in my uh, output folder so it's going to create the uh, partitions in the current folder here so, yeah it's done so this is the uh, output folder in my current project itself. Uh, so if you see, I want to create an uh, uh, parquet, partition column address. And uh, so the syntax would be or the form, the, uh, the folders will be created in the output is like address equal to address equal to address equal to. And as I said, it has to create the four folders. Mumbai Mumbai two records goes into uh, this particular partition and Delhi Delhi goes into the first partition and uh, Gujarat and Kerala has been repeated just uh, it's not repeated uh, more than once so uh, the second record and fourth record goes into the respective partitions so the main use of partitions is uh, to query the data so it it, it helps us to uh, query only limited data for example when a user wants to select a data from uh, Mumbai so when uh, he will write a query like select star from uh, so and so table where address equal to Mumbai so instead of searching the whole data set or the whole data under your folder it will just go into the Mumbai and then search it so this is uh, helpful uh, when you know uh, you are writing the uh, optimized queries so this is how guys we can create a partition uh, data using the packet from a data frame i hope it is helpful thank you so much guys for watching the video like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel bye bye